Coming in is going to be Luke Murphy for the Greyhounds. He'll come back in. And somebody come in for the Arrows. I don't know who it was. Uh, was it 22? No, Hobbs has been out there. Hobbs has been out there. How about zero? Parker Owens. Yeah, Parker Owens come in. 14 went out, Baylor Green. Yep. No? Well, that's Green's great. Inbounding. inbounding. It's going to be Owens, I believe. Armstead went out. Armstead. Oh, oh, Armstead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Quickly in the hands of Johnson. Johnson will give it back up there to Owens. Now top of the key. Three's on its way by Hobbs. Uh, been in there for Hobbs, making this a three-point ball game. Well, Vacan says you can do it too, or we can do it too. Yep. Cox to Roark. Roark with the basketball. Now gets it over to Murphy. Murphy back to Cox. Cox fires away. Three off the mark. No good. And rebound pulled down there by Wagner. Quickly ahead is Hobbs for the uh, Vacan Golden Arrows. Now Johnson, far corner. The green, green, cross-court pass, dangerous pass. Yes. Head there to Hobbs. Wagner in the far corner now. Wagner's going to work. Shot up. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Roark. Watson Roark quickly across the timeline. Now to Cox. Braden Cox going to the hole. Oh, what a shot. Braden Cox quickly makes it an 18-17 ball game. 2.44 left. Now in the far corner, Owens. Now inside the Hobbs. Now back out, three. Off the mark, no good there by Wagner. Rebound by Johnson. And we're going to have a blocking foul on Luke Murphy. And that'll be the, first, that'll be the second foul on Murphy. And Green goes out. And Noel comes back in. But... Andrew Johnson will shoot free throws. Shoot a one and one. This one's on the way. It's up. It's in. Makes it 19 to 17. Back to a two point lead. And You got a halftime score out of the 1A, brought to you by ASI Insurance. Mark Tree, 34. Marvella Lane, 19. Also got a 1A, uh, ASI Insurance update out of the 5A. Sheridan and Maumel nodded at 25 at half. And he gets both of those to go here. Carson Roark to the other end. Rebound pulled down there by Hobbs, and we're going to have a foul. And that's going to be on. Uh, uh, Carson Roark. His first, but let's see who's going to shoot a one and one. Looks like it's going to be Alex Hobbs. Alex Hobbs going to shoot Alex a one Hobbs, and one. one, and one. <laughs> Up and in there for Hobbs. 21 17 now. Just joining us, Hector Lady Wildcats knocked off the Bigelow Lady Peppers in the first game. Uh, Hudson Roark comes in for Luke Murphy. Murphy. Yep. Roex, excuse me, that's Roex, not Roark. No, Roex. And up and off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Cox. Quickly across the timeline, Braden Cox. Now back to Carson Roark. Now to Harper Rolex now in the far corner. Hudson Rolex. Hudson goes to the hole off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down there by Hobbs. Quickly ahead. Andrew Johnson now back to the top of key to Hobbs. Now over to Owens in that far corner. There to Wagner. Wagner's going to pull it back out, work a little bit of this clock with this four point lead. Looking on the top of the perimeter, looking inside, trying to get it in there, but they can't get it in there. Now they do. Gets it into Owens. Now back out. Three. No Noel. Off the mark. No good. And rebound by the Greyhounds of Salone Hendricks. Cox with the basketball. Now in the far corner of Rowex. Rowex going to bring it back up. Three on the way by Cox. Off the mark. No good. And rebound by Andrew Johnson. 
Johnson's wanting to run. Quick with the other end. Now Hobbs quickly across the court to Wagner. Wagner shot up off the mark, no good. And a battle for the rebounds pulled down by the Golden Arrows. A lot of second opportunities here for the Golden Arrows. Yes, sir, yes. Wagner's going to hand it over to Andrew Johnson. Johnson looking for that screen. Now give it back up. Top of the key to Hobbs. 19 to go on the shot clock. Down the far corner, three's on his way by Wagner. No iron drawn on it. And we're going to have a timeout by Sloan Hendricks. Stay with us here at the 2A State Tournament brought to you by Pettigene Fiber and Lake Area Sports. In a world where you can be anything, be a homeowner. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate has an experienced team ready to help you find the home of your dreams. We will help you in each step of the home buying process. Don't tackle one of life's biggest decisions without an experienced realtor by your side. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Welcome back here to the Class 2A State Basketball Tournament on Lake Area Sports. Compliments of Petty Jean Bible. And uh, Carson. Three. Yep, Carson Lillard. 36.7, be 1.7 seconds. Okay. Difference in the shot clock and game clock. Quickly ahead come the Golden Arrows with this big lead, Noel. With his four point lead, excuse me, Andrew Johnson now far corner of ha Owens. Owens backing the guy down, lays it up and in. Fifteen seconds ago, Harper Roex with the basketball now, hands it off to Carson Roark, now the Cox. Cox going to the hole, lays it up and in. That might be a little momentum there. Quickly at the other end, Golden Arrows. Three's on its way by Wagner and off the mark, no good. We have played two quarters and the score is the Lavaca Golden Arrows, 23. And it's Lone Hendrix Greyhounds, 19. Stay with us here on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Pettigene Fiber. We'll be back in about six minutes with the second half. Thank you, Arkansas, for making us the number one store. Ryan, what better way to celebrate during the President's Day sales event? That's right, Joe. We've got 1.9% right now on 2022 Gladiator Rubicon. And Brian, don't forget about the Ram 1500s. We have 0% financing on select models. So for all your new Ram, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, make that beautiful drive to Heber Springs during the President's Day sales event. Or check us out on the web at redriverdodge.com. And Red River, we deliver. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, we got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Petty Jean Fiber. Game-changing internet. Finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer service can be challenging. American Safeguard Insurance is your best choice in Central Arkansas because we offer large agency resources and coverage options with small agency service. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Are you ready for tip-off? Arkansas PBS and the Arkansas Activities Association is back with championship basketball. It's going to be live in Hot Springs starting on March 9th. It's going to run all weekend long as the state's best players are competing for a title. For all the ways to watch, go to myarpbs.org sports. 
for a lake house, a cabin in the woods, a commercial property, vacant land, or your dream home, we can help you. We are a full service office that can help you with all of your real estate buying and selling needs. You will not find a real estate office with more experience and knowledge of the area. Put that experience to work for you by contacting Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first, by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service, because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind, Centennial Bank, member FDIC. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiating. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. The chandeliers, the wine and the dine and the menu is blood, sweat, and tears. Everybody ready, raining duck confetti, champions are born right now. Head about the glamour, click goes the hammer, run when you hear that sound. Dripping out of their golden cups I'm starting, I'm starving Leftovers ain't enough Ain't about the royals, they do nothing for ya All you got is you right now Who is gonna falter, who is gonna conquer Better never count me out
tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed it, it was like, wow, how can it be this fast? The installer came and he did just a super guy. The beauty of it is I'm getting better service, saving money, man, you can't go wrong there. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber, better service, better pricing. Welcome to the good life. And welcome back here to the 2A state basketball tournament on the AAA Digital Network, compliments of Lake Area Sports and Petty Jean Fiber. I'm gonna give it over to Mr. Rodney Burrow for some score updates here at this game between Lavaca and Sloan Hendricks. All righty, for the Sloan Hendricks Greyhounds, leading score, Brandon Cox has 11, uh, Harper Roex has four. And you come over here to the Lavaca Golden Arrows, uh, Alex Hobbs has eight, and Parker Owens has seven, and Andrew Johnson, five. Both. Yeah. Halftime score, Lavaca Golden Arrows, 23, and the Sloan Hendricks Greyhounds, 19. Both teams comes in with 31 wins apiece, so 62 wins together and only nine losses. Sloan Hendricks has five, and Lavaca has four. Sloan Hendricks is the number four seed out of the 2A Central. And Lavaca is the number one seed out of the 2A West. The winner of this game will play on Thursday at 8.30 against the winner of Akron and Rector, which that's tomorrow at 5.30 here at, so, uh, at Ryzen, uh, at Rector. And here's our kind of update of the boys bracket. As you see the first game, our next game tonight for boys will be Bigelow taking on Hector, and the nightcap will be Fordyce taking on East Poinsett County. We already had one victory today. Hector Lady Wildcats knocked off Bigelow. Our next girls game is set for 4 o'clock. It's Conway Christian taking on Lothway Christian. And then our nightcap of the girls games will be Fordyce taking on the host, the Rector Cougars. And I Lady think Cougars. Lady Cougars. I better get that right. I don't think we are back to action here as we get this second half underway from Rector High School, the home of the Cougars, in the northeast part of Arkansas. Well, just a few miles from that Missouri border. And once again, our halftime <coughs> score is Lavaca Golden Arrows, the defending state champs, 23. And the Salone Hendricks Greyhounds, 19. Nabaka will inbound the ball for the starting third quarter. And I see Joe Johnson is back on the court with those three fouls for Lavaca. He's the only one that's in serious foul trouble for either team. Well, he gets it into Johnson. Now gets it back out to Hobbs. And going to the hole is a Noel stolen away there by. Lee Greyhounds. Upper row X with the basketball. 23 19. Uh, uh, Lee with an out on Grissom. Now to Cox. Cox looking to do something with a row X. Three in that far corner. Layup and in. Wow. Cuts it to a one point game here. 23 22. And a turnover. An unforced turnover by the, Grey, uh, by the Golden Arrows. And the Greyhounds can take the lead. And that will be the first time? Second time. Second time? Oh, yeah. The okay. first quarter. Okay. Yes. Excuse me. No, you're fine. Cox with the basketball. They had, I think it was like two to nothing or four to nothing. Or That's right. Two to nothing. Yep. Harper Roex gives it up to Braden Cox. Cox gives it back to Lee. Lee with the basketball. Now back out to Cox. Cox looking the screen. Gives it over to Grissom. Now to Cox. 14 to go on the shot clock. Cox will give it to Lee. Lee in the far corner. Murphy, seven to go on the shot clock. Murphy's got to do something with it. Now the lead. Five seconds, three seconds. Lee's going to throw one up. That's going to be a shot clock violation. That's the second one in this game. One by each team. Yep. 23-22, 647 left in this one in the third quarter. 
Quickly Ooh. ahead, Grissom almost stolen away. Now in the hands of number 21, up and in, Jetson Wagner. He's got five. 25-22, 6-34. Harper Rolex with the basketball. Gets the screen there from Lee. Don't take it down to Grissom. Now inside the lead. Lee can't handle it. Stolen away there by Hobbs. Alex Hobbs with a steal. Now quickly across the timeline. Now the hands there on Noel. Noel give it over to Wagner. Wagner with the basketball. Now back to Noel. Noel. Cross court three on the way by Wagner. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Jay. By Harper Rolex, quickly across. Gives it up to Murphy. Murphy with the basketball. Now to Cox. Bergen Cox with the ball. They hand it off to Harper Rolex. Rolex is going to swing it around to Lee. Lee's going to go down the baseline. Off the mark, no good. And battle for the rebound. And stay comes back to the Golden Arrows. Referee was almost taken out there by Lee. Yep. Ahead, Johnson now in the hands there of Noel. Now on the baseline, Hobbs back at top of Keith Johnson. Joe Johnson to the hole. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Harper Rowex. Quickly across the timeline. Rowex ahead to Murphy. Murphy thought about it, didn't take it. Now in the hands of Braden Cox as him and Rowex kind of got collided there almost. Braden Cox going to the hole, throws one up off the mark, gets his own rebound, goes right back up and in. Wow. 25-24, 5.04 left to go. He's got 13. Joe Johnson in the hands of Jetson Wagner down the far corner, Noel. Now cross court there to Davis. Oh, excuse me, now in the hands of Noel, uh, Wagner. Now Noel, three up and in there for Noel. That's his first points of the game. Cox with the basketball for the Greyhounds, 28-24. Like a heavyweight bout. Each of them take a blow with each other. Harper Rowex with the bat. Well, now gives it over to the top of the key. Three cops up and in. Boy, oh, this is going to be a <laughs> barn burner here the way this is going. Quickly at the other end. Noel, top of the key. Three up and in there. Alex Hobbs. Oh, my goodness. 31-27, 4.08 left to go. Sloan Hendricks with the timeout. We'll take it with them. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer service can be challenging. American Safeguard Insurance is your best choice in Central Arkansas because we offer large agency resources and coverage options with small agency service. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate. Your natural choice is in the perfect location right at the foothills of the Ozark Mountains on the shores of Grisbury Lake in Clinton. Our coverage area reaches far beyond the city limits of Clinton. We offer real estate in the Grisbury Lake area, foothills of the Ozark Mountains, Clinton, Fairfield Bay, and Little Red River areas. And welcome back to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network Complements of Lake Area Sports and Pettigene Viber. Got a halftime score and ASI Insurance scoreboard update at the end of the third quarter. Dumas leads Booneville 65 to 29. And that one is on Andrew Johnson. And that will be Andrew's first foul. Thank you. Miss Debbie hooking us up with a little water there. Yes, she is. Roark to Cox for three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Golden Arrows. 31-27. Johnson, far corner. Trying to get it inside there to Owens. Owens is going to work. Lays it up and in. He's got nine now. Builds it up to a six-point lead for the Golden Arrows. Harper Rolex with the basketball, top of the key. Now gives it over to Braden Cox. Cox looking to do something with it. Gets it back out to Rolex. Rolex is going to look to take it off the dribble. Now back to Cox. Three, buries it. Braden Cox quickly 
Cuts this down to a three-point lead. Now in the far corner. Owens now back to Green. Now top of key, Johnson now giving it over. Three's on its way. Off the mark, no good by Wagner. Rebound by Roex. Roex is wanting to push. Now ahead to Lee. Lee gets his footing. Now to Roark at the top of the key. Carson Roark is going to hand it off to Brady Cox. Cox is going to give it to Harper Roex. Harper Roex over to Jack Roark. Up and in. We got a new five ball game. We're tied at 33. Wow. 2.32 left to go. Jetson Wagner with the basketball. Now Joe Johnson. Now to uh, Andrew Johnson. Now to Joe Johnson. And he's going to be fouled. And the bucket's going to count. And that foul's going to be the second one on Grissom. You said Joe Johnson? Yes, sir. And, no, oh, that's Andrew that's Johnson. Andrew Johnson. Excuse me. I've got him for seven. Grissom going out and Pickett is coming come in for the Greyhounds. Looks like number zero Parker Owens come back in and going out was Jetson Wagner. And also coming in. That's it. That's all the. Uh, Andrew Johnson's first one's up off the mark. No good. And it's going to be out of bounds off of the Greyhounds. So it's going to stay with the Golden Arrows. With 2.23 left on the game clock in this third quarter. Looking to get it in is Joe Johnson. Gets it in to Andrew Johnson. Andrew's going to kick it back to the top of the key there to Hobbs. Now on over to Noel. Noel gives it up to Andrew. Now he's going to do something with it. Hobbs now to Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson, 19 seconds to go on the shot clock. Now gives it up there to Hobbs. Hobbs oh, trying to get rid of Lee. Now back out to Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson's going to the hole. Going to put his head down and go. Off the mark, no good. Picked up there by Ethan Lee and the Greyhounds. Took it the other end. Carson Roark. Back in the hands of Braden Cox. Being guarded there tightly by Noel. Cox is going to give it over to Lee. Lee's going to get bumped. Shot up. Off the mark, no good. Pick it with a rebound. And we're going to have a foul. And we're going to have a foul. Um, over the back on Pickett. And that's Pickett's third. And it's going to be the Golden Arrows inbound. Joe Johnson with the basketball. Now back top there to Noel. They're looking to get it across the timeline. They got four seconds to get it across. Noel does. And quickly ahead there to Andrew Johnson. 23 to go on the shot clock. Shot up. Andrew Johnson off the mark. No good. Harper Roex with the ball. 35-33, 119 left to go. Braden Cox to the hole. Off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by the Golden Arrows. Hobbs with the basketball. Now kicks in the far corner to Andrew Johnson. Johnson's going to get the top of the key there to Hobbs. I can't not see. I can't either. These girls. <laughs> and we have been blocked here at the broadcast table. Yeah. And Joe Johnson with the basketball now to inbound. Looks like it was out of bounds off the Greyhounds. One minute left to go. Now Hobbs with the ball. Now three off the mark, no good. Rebound by Johnson. Now gives it up there to Noel. Noel now on the hands of Owens. Owens inside there. Turnaround shot off the mark, no good there by Wagner, but he was fouled. And Carson Roark, that's his third. Wagner will be at the free throw line. The foul was on Carson Roark. This one's up and in. Three point game now for the Golden Arrows with 46.1 left here in this third quarter. Next one's on the way. It's up, it's in. Back to a four point lead here, 37-33. Braden Cox with the basketball, top of the key. About a 10 second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Carson Roark to Braden Cox. Braden Cox going to the hole, floater off the mark, no good. 
And he's gonna be thrown to the ground, no call. Quickly ahead there to Wagner. Wagner looking to do something with it. He's gonna have to get rid of it. Gets it over to Joe Johnson. 18 to go on the game clock. Shot clock is turned off. Hobbs with the ball. Now in the far corner there to Wagner. Wagner backdoors it there to Noel. Knocked away there by Lee. And they'll stay with the Golden Arrows with 9.7 on the game clock. Joe Johnson gets it in to Wagner. Wagner spins and going to the hole, and we're going to have a two-shot foul as they're going to get the foul there on Pickett. And the Sloan Hendricks fans do not on. like that one. No, that's on Roark. Oh, well, I called it on Carson Roark. I guess they got him on a hand check. Fourth foul on Roark. Wagner's first one's up and in, 38-33. Pickett goes out, and Grissom comes back in for the Greyhounds. And the next one's on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Grissom. Harper Rowex with the basketball. Three seconds, two seconds. Step back three. He's on his way. Off the mark, no good. And we have played three quarters here at Rector in the 2A state basketball tournament brought to you by Lake Area Sports and Petty Jean Fiber on the AAA A Dibble Digital Network. Stay with us here. We'll be back. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate. Your natural choice is in the perfect location right at the foothills of the Ozark Mountains on the shores of Grisbury Lake in Clinton. Our coverage area reaches far beyond the city limits of Clinton. We offer real estate in the Grisbury Lake area, foothills of the Ozark Mountains, Clinton, Fairfield Bay, and Little Red River areas, covering the counties of Van Buren, Cleburne, Faulkner, White, Stone, and Searcy, as well as all the surrounding counties. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind, Centennial Bank, member FDIC. At Nap. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network, compliments of Lake Area Sports and Petty Jean Fiber. Real quick, ASI scoreboard update out of the 1A. Mark Tree, 51, Marvella Lane, 30. And the Golden Arrows have stolen it away. And then Ethan Lee, his ankle was stepped on. I think they're going to have an injury. We're going to step away for a second. We'll be about back. At Nap Trust, they specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. Nap Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to Nap Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. Nap Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start to the finish. Call Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 today. F.L. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs. Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton, they are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, Stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. All right, we're going to have just 
a little bit of an injury timeout here. Mr. Ethan Lee is up. And they're trying to get him to the sidelines for the Greyhounds. Looks like he's trying to put a little pressure on that foot, but not very much. Yeah, he's a little bit hurt there. Yeah. All right, reset here. We got 38-33. Two team fouls on Lavaca, four on the Greyhounds. Both teams have three timeouts left. As we got 7.41 left to go here in this ball game. Looks like Luke Murray. Murphy. Murphy, rather, is going to come back in for him. And we're going to get things started back up, and it's going to be Greyhounds basketball out of the injury timeout. Grissom will inbound it to Cox. All right, we get things started back here. 38-33, 7-39 left to go. Braden Cox with the basketball. Harper Roex with the ball. Now gives it over to Murphy. Murphy trying to get it inside, almost throwing away. And out of bounds off the Golden Arrows. 22 on the shot clock. Ball's inbounded there to Braden Cox. He'll hand it to Roex. Roex with the ball. Trying to get rid of the defender. Now gives it over to Grissom. Grissom's going to work. And Grissom's going to be called for the walk. And be turnover on the Greyhounds. Mm. And we got a final, an ASI insurance scoreboard update. We have a final out of the 3A in Lamar. Dumas has knocked off the Boonesville Bearcats, 76 to 32. Now on the hands there of Joe Johnson. Now on the hands there of Hobbs. Now back to Johnson. Johnson thought about it, didn't take it. Now gives it over to Hobbs. Far corner, Wagner, three, buries it. 41, 33, eight point lead now. 6.48 left to go. Murphy back to Cox. Cox will bring it to the top of the key. 26 to go on the shot clock. Harper Roex will give it up there to Grissom. Now to Cox. Cox going to the hole, lays it up. And they're going to have a block and foul. His bodies are on the floor. Looks like Hudson Rowak is going to come in uh, after the main basket. Or after the first basket, I guess. <clears throat> he looks like they got his foot over. They got ice on his ankle. Yeah. He's probably through. He's a senior. Yep. And he's got one point. All right. Braden Cox will be at the free throw line. It is a two shot foul. 41 33, 6 33 left here to go. This one's up and around the world it goes and down the hole it went. And Roex comes on. Hudson Roex comes in for Luke Murphy. That's a Greyhound. It's Roark. That's Roex. No? No, that's, that's Hudson and Harper oh. Roex. Oh. Up and in. Okay. 41 35. 6 32 left in this one. Hobbs will give it over to Johnson. Back to Hobbs. Hobbs working into the front court. On the hands there of Maddox Noel. No, Owens. Use it up there to Jetson Wagner. Wagner will kick it on the far corner to Hobbs. Hobbs with the basketball. Going to the hole. Up and he's going to be fouled. And the foul is going to be on Cade Grissom. Be his third. Hobbs will be at the free throw line for two here. This one's on its way. It's up. It's in. 
Second one's on its way. It's up, and it's off the mark. No good. And rebound by Braden Cox. Quickly across the timeline. Six minutes left on the game clock. That's in row arc. Row X hard to the Harper Row X. Row X runs right in to Braden Cox. And Cox is going to get the screen from Grissom. Three's on the way. Up and in there. And it cuts us down to a five-point ball game. Excuse me, a four-point ball game. Yeah. <laughs> 42-38, 5.38 left to go. Couldn't do my mouth there, Rod. Well, I was, <laughs> but I wasn't going to say anything, but that's all right. Joe Johnson with the basketball top of the key. Now to Hobbs in the far corner there to Wagner. Now to Johnson. Now to Noel. Back to run a little bit of clock with that four-point lead. Back out to Hobbs. Five seconds to go on the shot clock. Two. Hobbs throws up a big three. Off the mark, no good. And rebound by Pickett. Okay. Good toss the timeline. Come the Greyhounds. That's Cox going to run into the trouble. They're going to get him on a walk. And that was good did. defense down here by Sloan Hendricks. And then Maddox Noel put the blocker up on Cox and got the turnover. Yep. Good. Like you say there. They're, they're milking the clock a little bit, taking their time. 62 wins between both of them. I mean, both teams are well-equipped ball teams. Yeah, they're very good teams. I mean, somebody's going to go home with 31 wins this year. And somebody's going to have 33, too. Yep. And somebody's going to be doing baseball here shortly. And yep. And somebody's going to stay with the basket. Two good teams are going home. One of them is up and in there by number one, Maddox Noel. 44-38, back to a six-point lead. Harper Rowex in the hands of Cox. 425 left to go. Cox will give it over to Harper Rowex, or uh, Hudson Rowark, now Harper Rowex. Resident Rowex will give it in the far corner to Pickett. Pickett looking to go. Far corner, Hudson Rowex, three, all in and out. And rebound by Grissom. He'll go right back up and in. Four point ball game, four minutes left on that game clock. One of these 31 win teams will go home tonight. Hit right the other end, Hobbs, back out, Wagner. Now Owens. Hobbs with the basketball. The Vacas are defending state champions. They're trying to defend their crown. And they were matched up with a tough team here. Three's on its way, up and in, Maddox Noel. And we've got a timeout, a full timeout. Stay with us here on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Penny Jean Fiber from the 2A State Tournament. Stay with us here. Ivy Physical Therapy in Hamber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. Welcome back here to the 2A State Tournament brought to you by Lake Area Sports and Betty Jean Fiber on the AAA Digital Network. If you want to watch all of these games, you can go back to lakeareasports.com and check them out. Quickly across the timeline, Braden Cox with the basketball. Now in the hands of Harper Rowex. We've got a seven-point lead here. Now Carson Rowark, who's checked in. Now in the hands of Hudson Rowex. Now Cox for three. Up and mm. in for Braden Cox. 47, 43, 310 left in this one. Noel Hobbs with the basketball now. Now gives it up there to Wagner. Wagner's going to pull it up. Now give it over to Noel. Noel, good top of the key there to Hobbs. 
The Golden Arrows are wanting to work that clock. Hobbs spins, goes to the hole, lays it up, off the mark, no good. And rebound by Braden Cox. Cox will give it over to Hudson Roex. Roex with the basketball, now hands it over to Roark. Roark goes to the hole, lays it up and in. 47-45, 2.31 left in this ball game. We've got a barn burner here. Yes, we do. And this crowd is coming live. Quickly at the other end, Wagner with the basketball. Now Noel. Now to Joe Johnson. Now Noel. We got a timeout by the Lavaca Golden Arrows. And we will be back after this by our title sponsor, Energy Fiber. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, we got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Petty Jean Fiber. Game-changing internet. Welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Pentagene Fiber. We got an ASI insurance scoreboard update out of the 1A. Mark Tree, 63. Marvella Lane, 49. Final. And it's standing room only here now. And Sloan Hendricks is really raising the roof. Yes, they are. Lavaca gets it in, Hobbs with the basketball. The Golden Arrows trying to defend their title. Back out, Hobbs, Wagner, now Johnson. That's Andrew Johnson. Now in the hands of Hobbs, three at the buzzer. Rebound pulled down by Carson Roark and turned over by Carson Roark. Back to the Golden Arrows of Lavaca. Both of these two teams, I know I sound like a broken record, 62 wins between them both, and only nine losses. 31 and five, go, uh, Greyhounds, 31 and four, Lavaca. One of them's gotta go home in a minute and 48. Now, that's Andrew Johnson, gets it over to Hobbs, 24 seconds left. Top of the key, Wagner. Giving it up there to Parker Owens. Now in the hands of Hobbs. 1.32 to go, 14 on the shot clock. Noel's going to the hole, he's gonna be fouled. And he will go to the line for two. That's gonna be Carson Roark's fifth foul, so he's gotta go out. Greyhounds are going to have to go to that bench. Carson is a senior. Yep. Who are they going to go with? They're going to bring in Ethan Pickett. For the Greyhounds, another senior. And at the free throw line will be number one, Maddox. Maddox uh, Neil. Uh, Neil. Noel. Noel. I thought they were calling him Noel. Yeah. Isn't that what he said, Noel? I think so. and Maddox, his first one's up. And we got a one possession ball game still. 48 45. Andrew Johnson goes out and Joe Johnson comes in. One more for Noel. Up and in, gets them both, 49-45, two possession ball game. 126, Harper Row, uh, oh, Braden Cox gives it over to Grissom, Grissom with the basketball, now gives it up to Harper Rowex. Roex looking to do something with it. Far corner to Hudson Roex. Now in the hands of Braden Cox. 19 to go on the shot clock. Now back over to Hudson Roex. 
Roex at the free throw line, up and in. The freshman coming through there. Those two points of the game. One minute left, 49-47. Joe Johnson will walk it across for the Golden Arrows. Far corner, Parker Hall, Owens with the basketball. Now gets it up to Alex Hobbs. Hobbs will give it over to Noel. Noel looking for the screen, can't get nothing. Joe Johnson, ball's loose, picked up there by Johnson, 11 to go on the clock. Owens, 10 to go on the clock, eight to go. Owens spins, going against Grissom, throws one up, rebound up and off the mark, but they're gonna have a foul. And Pickett just picked up his fourth foul. And that's Jensen Wagner will go to the free throw line. And you know, these, <laughs> these guys don't miss free throws. No, these two teams are good teams. Wagner looks like he's going to the free throw line. The board's got seven, I'm not for sure. Wagner up and in. He rattles the first one home. Still a two, one possession ball game here. I got him with 12. Okay. Right so the board's wrong. So. Second one's on the way from Jetson Wagner. Up and in. Gets both of them. 51-47. And we're going to have a timeout by Salone Hendricks. They got one more left after that one. Stay with us here on the AAA Digital Network, Compliments of Lake Area Sports. We'll be back. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate is a full-service real estate company that will help you every step of the way. If you are looking to sell property, we will help you from listing to the closing table and every step in between. If you are looking to buy property, we will help you find, negotiate, and close on the property of your dreams. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament brought to you by Penny Jean Fiber and Lake Area Sports. Got a final real quick here. Ma Mel knocked off Sheridan 60 to 51. That's a triple A, that's an ASI insurance scoreboard update out of the 5A. All right, ball's inbounded. Braden Cox, 24 seconds left to go. Harper Rolex with the basketball. Now to Grissom. Now to Braden Cox. Cox, three. Off the mark, no good. Hudson Roark with a, a Rolex with a rebound. And he's going to have a timeout. And the last timeout. And 12.9 right now on the clock. I don't know if they're going to put any more time on the clock. So stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. We'll be back. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind, Centennial Bank, member FDIC. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on Lake Area Sports and the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Pettigene Viber. 14 seconds left to go here, 51-49. It is standing room only here. We'll probably have a foul. And they're trying to get it in. Joe Johnson gets it in to Noel. Noel's going to be fouled there by Harper Roex. And that'll be the first foul on Harper. Maddox Noel will go to the free throw line. To shoot a one and one. How many points has he got? Who? Uh, Noel. I've got him with 10. 10 points. It is a one and one here, so 51 49. One possession ball game right now. Here's the free throw. It's a one and one. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Pickett. Ahead to Cox. Cox. With the basketball, going to the hole, shot up and in! 
It's in! The back of Cox with a steal! And it's gonna be an overtime here. Oh, we got a foul. Oh no, we got a timeout by Lavaca. Lavaca has called a timeout. And we are tied here 51 51. Lavaca has used a timeout with 1.6 left in this game. But they still, uh, they haven't given them the points on the scoreboard yet. Yeah. Uh, Sloan Hendricks and the fans are coming alive for something. Oh, we're going to give him three seconds. Three seconds. And I'm not for sure what's going on here. The referees are coming together. We all, we know it's 51-51. Three seconds left in this ball game. But whose basketball is it? Oh, it, well, well <laughs> no, no, evidently the timeout came before the, the inbound stuff. All right, so the inbound was not credited. So it's going to be Lavaca basketball with three seconds left on the clock. And it's going to be Maddox Noel inbounding it for the Golden Arrows. Looking to get it in, gets it in. Shots on the way. Wagner overshoots it. And guess what? We got overtime. Stay with us here on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Petty G Fiber. We're in overtime. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles, tetanus, and more. They also test and treat strep and flu. Their staff is committed to providing fast and friendly service. Stop by today to see why Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy is Greer's Ferry Lake's number one independent pharmacy. And we are back. Overtime, number one, 51, 51. Four minutes to go as jumping will be Kay Grissom against Parker Owens. Parker Owens will get it over to Noel as we'll have a first overtime. The defending state champs on the ropes here. Parker Owens back out top of key, Noel. Noel's wanting to go to work. Now back out to Owens. Owens off the mark, no good. Rebound by Pickett and the Greyhounds. Cox with the basketball for the Greyhounds. Now far corner, Harper Roex. Roex looking to do something with it. Floaters on the way, up and in. 53-51, 325 left to go. Wagner will give it over to Joe Johnson as he'll work it across. Owens with the basketball, now Wagner. Wagner spins, can't do nothing with it, it's gotta do something. Now gets it to Noel. Noel will hand it over to Hobbs. Hobbs looking for that screen, now it's gonna clear. 14 to go on the shot clock. Far corner now. Parker Owens, three, off the mark, no good. Rebound by Braden Cox. Cox again across. Cox to the hole, now back out to Harper Rolex for three, off the mark, no good. And pulled down by number 21, Jetson Wagner for the Golden Arrows. 2.38 left to go, Joe Johnson now gives it up. Hobbs to the hole, fouled, bucket counts. And we'll have an and one on its way. Grissom picked up his fourth foul. And Hobbs. Has 14. We're nodded at 53. Yep. 
<laughs> and at the free throw line will be Hobbs for the and one to take the lead for the Golden Arrows. First one's up, it's in, 54-53, 2.33 left here in the first overtime. Braden Cox working across the timeline. Cox with the basketball. Now looking for a screen, now gets it over to Hoper, Harper Roex. Harper gives it back to Hudson Roex. Roex for three, off the mark, no good. Battle for the rebound, picked up by the Golden Arrows. Quickly across will be Andrew Johnson, back to go Joe Johnson. Out of the hands there are Hobbs. 2.06 left to go. Golden Arrows with a one point lead. They're going to work that clock. Now gives it up there to Jetson Wagner. Wagner with the basketball. Step back threes on its way. It's in and out. And we got a battle. Andrew Johnson comes up with it, goes to the hole, and rebound by Pickett. By the Greyhounds. Quick on the other end. Braden Cox, 145 left. Gives it back out to Harper Roex. Roex with the basketball. Now gets it. Got to get rid of it. Now Braden Cox for three. Off the mark, no good. Grissom with a big rebound. Goes right back up. Off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by Joe Johnson. 128 left to go. Now he'll give it over to Hobbs as he'll work it across. Both these teams look, they both look exhausted. Yes, they do. 62 wins between both of them. Only nine losses. Somebody's got to go home. And Hobbs with the basketball. Hobbs spins, goes to the hole, off the mark, no good. And out of bounds, off the Golden Arrows. And back to the Greyhounds. 107 left. Maddox Noel's coming in for Andrew Johnson. Braden Cox will work it across the timeline for the Greyhounds of Salone Hendricks. Cox looking to do something with it. Gets it in there to pick it. Back out to Hudson Roex. Now back to Cox. Now to Hudson Roex. Now back to Cox. Cox looking for that screen. Can't get no free. Goes to the hole. And we're going to have an offensive foul on Braden Cox. First foul on Cox. And it'll be back to the Golden Arrows with 47.1 left to go. One official called a charge and the other one called a block. <laughs> Joe Johnson are working across. 43 seconds left, 30 seconds on the shot clock. Far corner, Noel. Now gives it up there to Hobbs. Hobbs is going to work, lays it up and in. Three point ball game now. And quickly speeding down the floor is Cox. Cox, far corner, Harper Rolex for three up and in! 56, 56, 19 seconds to go. Noel gives it over to Johnson, 14 to go. 12 to go, he gets it across and high, we got a timeout. 56, 56, 11.3 left to go. It is a full timeout, let's take it with them. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary seven-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, Come see us at Cowboys Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs. And welcome back here to Rector High School. We're in overtime and it's 11.3 left to go, 56-56. It will be the Golden Arrows basketball. And you are watching all this on the AAA Digital Network comments of Lake Area Sports. And if you want to go back and watch this instant classic, you be sure to go to LakeAreaSports.com to watch it. It'll be Joe Johnson inbounding it for the Golden Arrows, the defending state champs. Get it in to Noel. Noel's going to the hole. He's going to be fouled by Ethan Pickett. And Pickett just fouled out. And that's going to put Noel at the free throw line to shoot two.
They, Sloan Hendricks has 10 fouls and uh, Lavaca Golden Arrows have three. It's going to be a two shot foul. We know that. And in comes number 11. Number 11, that is. I don't have 11. Uh, we, it's on here. It's uh, It's not on here, but we, we know we, we've had him before. And at the free throw line will be no else. First one's up and in. 57-56. It's Cade Marshall. It's Cade Marshall. Cade Marshall. Yeah. Up and off the mark, up and in, excuse me. 59, 58, 56, excuse me. And we're going to have a timeout by the Greyhounds. And we're going to take it real quick. My name is Margaret, and I'm a quilter. Tried it, trued, and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi Fi. Through the Wi Fi, I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there, and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. In a world where you can be anything, be a homeowner. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate has an experienced team ready to help you find the home of your dreams. We will help you in each step of the home buying process. Don't tackle one of life's biggest decisions without an experienced realtor by your side. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. All right, reset here. 7.9 left to go. It is Greyhounds basketball trailing 58-56. Well, Lavaca's probably going to foul here. They've got three fouls, so they'll probably foul right here. Yeah. It'll be the Greyhounds inbounding the basketball. Ball's into Harper Rowex. Rowex all the way. No foul. He's going to the hole. Shot is up. It is off the mark. No good. And the final buzzer has blown. And the Greyhounds are defeated by the defending state champions, the Lavaca Golden Arrows, as they come together there at the end of the first half of time. And... We'll get you some totals here in just one minute as the final is 58, 56 in overtime. Same player of the game for the Lavaca is Alex Hobbs. As both teams have come together and they prayed around Ethan Lee. And Alex Hobbs is going to get the player of the game. I'm going to flip it over to Mr. Rodney Burrow for the score updates. All righty, for the Sloan Hendricks uh, Greyhounds, Brandon. Cox, I show him with 29, and Harper Rowex with 12. Then you go over here to the uh, Lavaker Golden Errors. I show Alex Hobbs with 17, Maddox Noel with 12, and Justin Wagner with 13. Again, right. final score. The defending state champs, Lavaca Golden Arrows, 58, and the Sloan Hendricks Greyhounds, 56, and will finish their season at 31 and six. The Golden Arrows go to 32 and four. More importantly, they go to 8:30 on Thursday, and they will take on the winner of Akron and Rector. And Akron and Rector play on Wednesday right here 
at the Rector High School. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know the drill, we're going to go off air, come back on to a different tab.